Good morning, little flower faces. Did we all make a lot of oxygen last night? Oh, hey! Oh, what's gotten into you? Whee! Okay, miss, uh, it's six saplings. Uh, where do you want them planted? Mm. So now you're telling me there's, what, bad cholesterol and good cholesterol? Right, right. <laughs> oh, in the rough. Found it! Marty! Marty! <laughs> Careful, chum. I don't like the look of these prickly succulents. What's happening to the plants in this city? Yes, they do seem restless. Oh, like the movies. Okay, Cacti, what are you up to? What's going on? Give me the skinny. Tick, they're plants. They can't talk. Besides, it's not just them. This is happening all over the city. Hey, hey, a pinch more lime up there. Bee twins. Yes, Elsie. Just the other day, I am thinking, you know what I hate? You hate the humans. I hate the humans. They really get my goat. I'm not so fond of goats either. In fact, the whole animal kingdom really fries my flom. More chlorophyll in Beaker 7. When the earth was young, the plant kingdom was in the driver's seat. Oh, there was the occasional animal, the bees, for example, flitting from flower to flower, not for conquest, but for love. These animals, they are troublemakers, always moving around with their feet and their wings and their wheels. They eat us, they wear us, they put us in pots, they squeeze us for juice. It's grotesque. But soon all this will change. This vegetation vitalizer will free all plant life to rise up against the animal oppressor. Bee twins, no longer must we vitalize one plant at a time. This time, we will get the whole city in a single whack. I have rented a crop duster. Ooh, a free truck. You know, I don't get it, Arthur. But I've always operated under the assumption that plants are good. And now this, I just can't get my mind around it. That's a violation of your airspace. Follow that plane. Animals, your days are numbered! <laughs> One part vitalizer to a million zillion parts water. The recipe for revolution! Why would they crop dust the park? There are no crops here. Look! Hey, those trees are going nuts! We've got to stop that plane! <laughs> A 
off my plane, Blue Monkey! I don't know who you are or what you're up to, mister, but I want this plane on the ground pronto! No, I rented it for the whole day! Just give me that stick, pedal head! And don't come back! Kick! Oh. Are you okay? I feel funky. Monkey funky. <gasps> Uh-oh. Put that monkey down. Hmm. Looks like the park's gone bad. Could be a job for... The, the Sick Minded Five! Okay, gang. Let's do roll call. <clears throat> Four-legged man. Captain Mucilage. The Carpeted Man. Jungle Janet. And yes, <laughs> Feral Boy. Okay, top priority. Get those kids down. All right, Civic Minded Five. Let's, Let's make, make a difference. difference. I'll stop those trees with my streams of high pressure mucilage. Let's get sticky. Oh, no. oh. By rubbing my carpeted feet over any surface, I can create a tremendous charge of static electricity. Gotcha! 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 I'm so hot in a suit. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Cut it out! Hey, my change! Monkey. Monkey. <laughs> Arthur, are you okay? What are you doing here? Janet? Flower? Oh, thanks. All I know is there's this guy in this airplane, and he was spraying the park and everything went crazy, and the tick jumped up on his airplane, and they had this big fight, and the tick fell off the airplane, and he was all glowing and green, and now he's like this. Potato? Oh, busy, busy bee twins, what's the use? Come on, Elsie, don't feel so down. You're good at this, we love you. But I spilled all the vitalizer on that big blue monkey. We're making more, we're making lots. There's no time. I have to return the airplane to the rental place by tomorrow morning. I heard they start charging by the hour. You can fly at dawn. Besides, the revolution has already begun. A few uppity trees in the park is no revolution. I wanted a moment. That was no moment. They look up to you. No, you're right. I shouldn't be so hard on myself. After all, I am El Cid. I am the self-proclaimed liberator of the plant population. B-Twins, that was my mistake. The city is no place to start the plant revolution. We have an army right here. It's all around us, and it is enormous. <laughs> you know, I'm feeling a lot better. Tick, you've got to see a doctor about this. No, really. I feel full of life. <laughs> Next. Well, I've never seen anything like it. This calls for expensive testing.
Your friends got pits. That was the scene late today when a strange tree riot broke out in the city park. A surprisingly brave handful of our city superheroes fought through the day saving park goers and finally subduing the dangerous greenery. Many of the heroes were brought to the city hospital with minor injuries and severe splinters. More after this. You know, Gary, if you just take off that stupid suit, you wouldn't keep getting overheated. But I'm the carpeted man without this suit. I am nothing. Relax, it's okay. It's all over. I didn't even want to be involved. I got jumped by a hedge. Where are the cops in this town? Ah! I hate broccoli. And yet, in a certain sense, I am broccoli. Uh, Tick, I have the results of your test. Lay it on me, Doc. Let me be honest. I don't know anything about this condition, but offhand, I'd say you've got 12 hours. 12 hours? And then what? Well, he may end up a vegetable. Man! Man! What do we do now? Well, we find the vegetable villain who did this to me and get the antidote. There's an antidote? Villains always have antidotes. They're funny that way. Well, okay. Then there's an antidote, and we have to get it. We know that Flowerhead guy's got it. Well, where is he? Um... He could be anywhere. But he rented that crop duster, right? Um... And there's only one place I know where you can rent a crop duster. Hello, this is Jeff. Uh, hi, Jeff. Uh, listen. You want a duster, right? No, Jeff, listen. Did you rent a crop duster to a guy with a flower for a head? Hey, I rent out to a lot of people. What kind of flower? I'm very busy. <clears throat> uh, Jeff, Tick here. Uh, where can we find this guy? It's a medical emergency. All right, hang on a second. Yes, I rented a plane to one LC this morning. He's staying at the old abandoned greenhouse. Right! But it's a ways down the road. How far did Jeff say it was to El Seeds? He said it was a ways. Well, how many blocks is that? Never tried. Hi, guys. Uh, we're on the march. Soldiers of corn, lend me your ears. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> Already a joke. And I don't even rule the world yet. <laughs> you are the glorious army of El Cid. That's me. I am on a big power trip, and you are coming with me. Okay, there you go. Here, take a pen. My assistants, the lovely B-twins, will pass out medical waiver forms and ballpoint pens. Please print clearly. He's a madman! Hey, what kind of corn soldiers are you? Uh, uh well, we're, we're uh, 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 we're uh, colonels! Yeah, uh, there you go. Today, we destroy the works of man and replace them with the works of El Cid! 
the 12 hours is almost up. We've got to get the antidote. When I was taking night courses at agricultural college, a fine school, I learned three things. One, never stand in back of a cow. Two, people and plants can never live in harmony. Three, if you really want something, you take it! <laughs> well, <laughs> I want the world! <laughs> okay, El Cid, where's the antidote? What antidote? 30 seconds. <laughs> Listen, I don't have time for any of this villain banter. Oh, that antidote. He, he's right over there. Let's make a difference! Let's get out of here! Is it very warm in here, or is it me? Tick, we can use the crop duster to spray that antidote on the corn army. Ooh, plane ride. Hello, corn army? Destroy them! Superheroes. I knew you would. All right, sir, you've had your fun. We're putting you under citizen's arrest. Feral boy, don't put that in your mouth. It was moving two minutes ago. You know, when a tomato grows out of your forehead, it gets you thinking, what do we know about anything? Life is just a big, wild, crazy toss salad. But you don't eat it. No, sir, you live it. Isn't it great? Isn't it?